Hello there. Um, just going to show you a few little tips for scaling bones or joints in Maya. So our end result, what we want, is to be able to do this basically. Squish, squish, um, on a very, very simple rig. So it's like this. So we've got this little guy over here um, who doesn't actually scale. And what we're going to want to do is scale this, this whole thing. So what you might be inclined to do is um, put a scale constraint on there. But you'll notice that immediately it doesn't actually scale the whole structure, it only scales that one. And then if we do this, it's not scaling how we want it, obviously. <laughs> so, um, there's two major things that we just have to do, which you probably find popping up over and over. Uh, the first thing is we do actually want to constrain this to the, the, uh, the root of the skeleton, which we have done, so that is actually fine. Um, the next part is why is this not scaling the whole thing? That would be a setting on the next joint called segment scale compensate. So this is in the, the transform under joint. So if you'll have a look at this, scale this way up. And select that and turn this off. It's the easy part. So now, now it does scale. So the next challenge is to make it so this is working, but that is not, and that is not. And the reason that is not working is because if we have a look, our um, scales back down to one. Now axes are off, so the y axis is of course up on here but on our bones x-axis is up and you could counter this by making the changing the settings in your bone tools primary axis to be y but but um we're going to fix this another way so what you want to do is select the object that you're controlling and the bone i'm going to select it way too much there we go um, and you want to go to the node editor, show all, and push this, and these are all the things. So in here, this is our uh, scale constraint, and if we look over here, this is our controller. This is our bone, you can see it's selected. So if we have a closer inspection, we'll, what we'll see is that this line here, the constraint scale is going straight into our bone scale, but we want to swap around the X and the Y, so we just take this and pop it into the X, take the X and pop it into the Y, and now that we swap those around, X scales X, and Y scales Y, and of course Z doesn't, doesn't change. So I hope that helps. I mean, this is really basic stuff, and you probably want something a little bit more complicated than this in a more complicated rig, but for something super simple, I hope this helps. Very good.